Hello friends, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. This is my final Christmas video number four and I'm starting out with these cute little, it's a tea set bought at Ikea a few years ago. I just kind of had them. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them, but they were so cute. And I got the idea of just making them into ornaments. I'm just showing you how big they are compared to my hands. So they're just little for a child. And so just um, looking at, you know, ideas at what people do with tea sets. And, you know, a lot of times they'll put a little bird in it. They've I've seen where they'll put, you know, a plant in it. You could, you know, put a little spoon in there. There's so many ideas. I just decided I wanted to do them as an ornament. And so this is the first one, the pink one, and I tried to stick with the pinks and just using the items that I have around the house um, or in my craft room, I should say, putting some good old just craft wood, um, not wood glue, craft glue, and just going to put that down with that being a glittery piece, I thought this was probably the best way to handle that. And then just going to go around the, the cup and put some more little glittery type um, ribbon on there. I've been crafting for years and so I have accumulated a very nice selection of, you know, what I need when I need it. And uh, if I see things that I think I might like, I pick them up. And it's always good to pick that stuff up on sale. You know, you kind of know yourself as to what kind of items you may use. There are occasions where I, you know, have to pay full price. But usually if I see it, I like it. And, you know, coupons are nice or sales, that kind of a thing. Well, here's the little green one and so this one I just thought I have this little uh, it's like a filler for like if you had a package or a gift just thought I'd put a little bit of that to give it a little color and again a nice little um, this is from Michaels I believe and they come in a little package I've probably made other crafts with these before but they're just so cute quick and easy and then, of course, you know, put a hanger on these. Before I did the hanger, though, I thought I needed a little red bow. So here's a little bow. Dollar Tree has uh, some nice uh, ribbons. And also I get a lot of my ribbons at Michael's. This would be a button, and I know this was in the Michaels um, where they had little packages of buttons, and this one might have came with a little truck or something like that. Um, I just keep all the pieces, and then, you know, usually I find a spot for them eventually. Just putting a little bit of muslin down and going to glue that to the back just to give it a little different look in the back. And that craft glue works great for something like this. Had a little greenery, and so I just thought I'd put that for the background. And those little uh, blocks I've been using, those are a Dollar Tree item. You know, it's one of those things you think. You're not sure at the time what you're going to use them for, but they've been kind of handy. I use them for things like this and just standing things up in the back of things. And uh, I could totally make a tiny little, um, like an ABC set with them, but this is great fun just to make it like this. Just adding a little green in there. I hope you all have been enjoying your, um, you know, the season so far. And I know it's been busy for me. Everything's been going good and I hope it's been going good for you. You're just putting on a little bow. Now here's the little blue cup. Just another simple little way to decorate it. Yeah. 
Have you seen these little tiny bottle brush trees? I'm pretty sure I got this one. There's probably a packet of three at the Target dollar spot. And in this video, you'll also see I've used these little, uh, little tag signs, whatever you want to call it. They're just little paper pieces that come in a package and I have several different kinds. Another thing that I just kind of, if I see it, I like it, I'll pick it up. That way when I'm ready to craft, I've got a good, um, something good to choose from. And here's one more look at all four of them. Do you have a favorite? Let's keep looking because I've got a lot more to show you. Here we are using a water transfer on a Dollar Tree blank. They do have those now, which is kind of fun. And I'm gonna put this little teddy bear in a wreath and just showing you the process. You take the, the plastic off, you dip it in water for about 10 to 12 seconds. And then you take it back out of the water And I do want to mention I cleaned the, the blank really well before I did this. And um, just lay that down and then you're supposed to get a sponge and kind of um, not wipe it away but just kind of dab it on there to um, absorb the water that you just had on that transfer. And then I, I'll show you how to just slide it off once you've gotten it kind of dried off. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so it, I was a little bit, hmm, is it dry enough? Don't want it too dry. And then I just tried it and sure enough, it started to move across. So they're really not hard to put on. And then just let that dry and it didn't take long to dry aren't these kind of cute these are a new item i think at dollar tree these little mini pine picks and um i just kind of tore off a little piece and cut it down and i'm just going to put that on the top and add a little ribbon to that to just dress this up a little bit now sometimes these transfers you think they're like a water transfer, but uh, they're maybe rub-ons. This one just happens to be um, the water transfer. And I wanted to mention this really pretty, I love this ribbon. I got this at Michael's and I bought it a couple of times because I just love it. Does that not scream like gingerbread and peppermints and things like that? I love the this ribbon, it's so fun for Christmas. And one bow just didn't do it. So I thought I'm just going to make a few, like three little bows or three little loops in it and uh, put that on top. One more thing I didn't do, but I thought would be, would have been a cute idea is to put a little red button right in the middle of that. That would have just added a lot to it. And there it is. That'd make a really nice gift to give someone. You could also put on like the date. That would make a great idea. So here we are with our Jenga blocks. Check out what I made with these. Now I had my wood glue out, so I decided I wanted to use that because um, don't use um, hot glue when you're using wood. If you have wood glue, use it because it, it just holds so much better. And actually, it dries just as fast. Sometimes with the uh, hot glue, it's going to have a bulkiness to it. Wood glue will be smooth, and you can just make it really nice and tight, and it'll look so much better. And then just lay that back down, and it'll dry up really quickly, and uh, you're ready to go. These are Dollar Tree item items that I've gotten in the past, and then this cute very pretty green it's called scallion from waverly 
Only certain projects I pull this out and I thought I'm going to just try it because I love that green. It's just kind of a bright green. And just take one of those Dollar Tree little, um, they're just little pe wood pieces that you can add to things. Paint that up and let that dry. And I had a little bit of red. I wanted to just paint that entire thing. I had my project in mind. And so I painted the entire thing and let that dry. Check out these cute little gingerbread men. That was from Michael's. And I know I didn't give them $5 for that. Buy that when it's on sale. Right now there's sales going on, I'm sure. And just put a little uh, glue on the back and hold that in place. My little tree needed a little, um, you know, we needed to add the uh, tree trunk to that. So put a little brown on that and glued that one down. Now you can see I am gluing them more down to the bottom part and that is because I wanted to put you know some kind of a ribbon up at the top and it wouldn't hang over you know the uh, the image. And I just got out a few colors and added in some dots with the back the bottom of my paintbrush that makes a really nice dot. Just dip it in your paint put it on on the spot and these little wood pieces already had where you put your dot. Very cute. And I didn't do anything with painting the Jenga blocks because I liked them just how they were. Okay, here we go. And now I'm just going to put, these are like little um, eye screws that you would just, you can, if the wood is soft enough, you can just screw that in there. You don't even need to make a pilot hole. Once you get it going, just keep pushing and turning. You might need a pliers or something, but um, I was able to get it without using the pliers. And then I just had a white paint pen and put some little frosting on the top and bottom of our little gingerbread man. You've got to add a bell in there somewhere. So here I'm going to put a bell on a little bow and we will get that added on to the tree. You can see how fast and easy these are. Again, you could put in the date, make them dated, use a paint pen or, you know, write it in on the bottom somehow if you wanted to. You could put a name on these as well. Aren't they just cute? Very cute, inexpensive, and fun to do. Check out my little gingerbread house I made. This is with a Dollar Tree bird house. Okay, we've got to take off that little bird perch. And it was a little rough, so I sanded it down with just a emery board. And I'm just using the felt that you can find in like, um, you know, your Michaels, Hobby Lobby, you know, they're three for a dollar or whatever, just those felt pieces. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover the entire thing with the felt. And for ease, I decided to use a blade. Um, my um, X-Acto knife, that wasn't real sharp and so I didn't choose to use that. But if you had one, you could use that. And this just kind of helped where you're pushing down and uh, trying to get, you know, things cut where it should. I wanted to mention too, on this little birdhouse, it'd probably be easier if you had one that didn't have like the two tiered, it had the overlap on it. They just didn't have any that just had the one flap of the roof. So I had to go with what I had. 
And I could feel when I was working with it, you could f feel that there's a hole there. So I decided to just take a piece of cardstock and fill that up and cover it over. And at first, you know, I thought I'd use four pieces, but then um, I decided to just go and wrap it around one, two, three, and not cut the paper or cut the felt down. And just keep going as is and cutting as needed. Paper would work good for this too. I just thought the uh, felt would be kind of soft and something different. And now I'm just going to use felt and I'm going to cover up the roof. And again, like I said, if you had one piece of wood there, it'd be so much easier. But we're going to go with it. So basically, I am just covering pretty much all the exposed wood pieces with the felt. So I hope your um, December has been going well. Mine has been going well. It's busy. Here I'm just going to show you how I put a little notch in the roof. And this makes it easy so you can make a hanger without, you know, you won't even see it. Just adhere your ribbon to the top of the little birdhouse and then you can poke it through that hole. I've seen some cute little gingerbread houses. They've had them with to me, the brown and the pink, that is such a, um, they're good colors, you know, for a cute little gingerbread. And so that's kind of what I'm going with on this one. But yeah, such cuteness. And I decided to add a little, uh, it was a faux, like you had snow, a snow look. You could use anything for snow. You could have your, you know, other things like uh, the stuff that's in a, uh, it's like in a shaker. You could use glitter. You could use cotton balls. I mean, there's so many ideas of what you could use to add to your little uh, gingerbread house. And making things that look like gumdrops and, uh, you know, candies. This is some, it's actually a vinyl. Um, I do embroidery work and so I use vinyl for certain things and so I had some of this pink. If I would have had it in my flannel, I mean in my, um, in my felt, I would have chose to use that. But this actually looked pretty good and I ended up using my paint pen to draw on it anyway so it actually was the perfect product to use. So we're gonna put a little heart and then those are little other pink areas are gonna become the windows. And we gotta have a little door. So here's where I got my paint pen out and decided to give them some little door panel or panes and a door handle. This would be cute using one of those little bottle brush trees. You could, you know, maybe even kind of cut it in half and put it up on it. All kinds of fun ideas that you could do with this cute little birdhouse, which is now a gingerbread house. And when you get done, when I get done, I'll show you the entire thing. That's the only uh, th uh, site you'll see of it because I completely forgot about putting it in the final video. Here I am just putting a little bit of that felt along the bottom just to finish it off. I 
I like to craft. Sometimes I'll be uh, in, looking at YouTube and crafting, and sometimes I'll put in a movie. How about you? What do you like to listen to? Do you listen to the radio or, you know, just like the silence? Let's keep going. I've got a decoupage napkin on a wood slice. I have showed these before, but this is so cute. Um, decided to go with this pool color of Waverly. And I kind of went with the napkin, like um, that was the color on the napkin. And so I like this, but I wanted it to look like it had snow. And so I just put some regular acrylic paint and some water and just kind of doing a spatter. Not really good at this. If anybody has tricks, I'd certainly, uh, you know, take your advice. But this is what I've seen. And they just kind of flick it and then you've got it. Now you see where that blue came from. And I didn't even know which one of these little critters I wanted, but I decided to go with the bunny. And if you're a card maker, they call this fussy cutting. You know, you gotta get in all the little pieces. This was a double ply napkin, and so I deplied it. And I have learned that you need like something white behind it, or if you noticed, I put that first ply, I put it down, and then I'm putting the other, the actual, the top of it on it because otherwise it'll be transparent. And so it's good to kind of put both layers down if you can, but just put them on separately. And since it's a bunny, I thought it needed a little bunny butt. And so we're gonna put a little pom-pom on there. And Dollar Tree has these nice little pom-poms that you can pick up. Isn't he cute? Again, it'd be a great thing to put it on a, make it dated. Check out these little cute mini cookie cutters. I, you can get these things like at thrift stores or um, garage sales. Um, so these are all, um, you know, just old fashioned cookie cutters. And I've seen things like this. I've never done it. And I thought, this is it. I want to make these. So this is just like your standard round cookie cutter. This would be the largest one. And I asked my husband for a piece of his uh, music paper or, you know, like something from one of his books. He is a trumpet player. And so he gave me this. And I just used this. I'm going to use these for the background. And to give it a little bit of, you know, support, I put more of the felt behind it and then glued down that very thin music paper on top of the felt. This little Santa, I had a package of those and I think that was a Michael's purchase a couple years ago. Every once in a while, I'll pop him into something. He's just got that old vintage, you know, very pretty um, Santa face, you know, that you just can't go wrong with. So that's why I bought that. And it does come in handy to put in certain places. And then this little red tinsel stuff, that was from a Dollar Tree. It was like a tree that was on a plastic form and I'm just kind of taking it off as I go when I guess when I'm done using the tinsel I'll have to decorate the tree again and again like I said you know I've got those little um, bits and pieces of paper that you know they have little words little uh, images on them. I'm just going to use one that says Santa Claus and put that one on and I'm going to just call this good. Each and every one I do show you on how I hung it up 
for the back because that's something to kind of keep in mind. So you don't want it to hang where it's going to hang down. You want it to hang where it's going to show, you know, what you've done. And so either gluing it, um, you know, in a certain way, you kind of work on what you have just to be aware of that because it wouldn't be any good to hang it upside down. This one, I kind of really love this one with the... Uh, the little snowflake and so we're gonna glue that right in there I remember someone had pointed out to me that snowflakes have six little points to them and after I knew that I never looked at them again the same and I thought the ones because you'll see them where they'll have eight points and it just doesn't look right to me. Have you ever noticed that? Then put your little jewel piece on there. It could be anything that, you know, you you have, you want to add to it. And that just adds to it. This one have been, would have been really cute with like the the fluffy silver tinsel too, but I didn't have anything. But this ended up being pretty cute too. And I've seen these in like mini, they're like tart pans. Same kind of a thing where they've got, you know, the pan and you can... Uh, make something cute out of them. Easter, oh, that'll be cute because you could use your silver and pinks and light greens and that kind of a thing. But also works for Christmas. And then at the last minute, I kind of decided to add a few words to this. Snowflake kisses. And here is the last one of those little cookie cutters and more buttons. I'm just going to put one. You noticed I had that other button in the teacup. And then these nice little, um, these are paper uh, poinsettias. And I know I got those at Michael's probably a couple years ago. One more look at these little cuties. I just love how these turned out. Just kind of vintage and cute. Let's see how all this stuff looks on the tree. And remember, I didn't include my little gingerbread house that I put the felt on, but you did get to see that one. The other items are all on this tree. I don't want to. I don't want to forget to tell you. I thank you for watching my video. Keep stay tuned for more videos coming out. Um, as soon as the holidays get over, I will get back to weekly videos. It's just been busy. And I'm sure you all have been busy too. It's just this time of year. And I've had my a couple open houses, or I'm going to be having one this week too. So um, I will throw in a video to show you my little store. And I've decided not to have regular hours. It's going to be hours of, you know, when I'm ready to open. But I make some soaps and my crafts. I've got my embroidery and I'll be having a website coming out too. Thank you all. We will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.